Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I am the Kayla Simone, and we are back with another Wear Until You Tear. Yeah, good girl, but she bad, so I'm confused. Damn. Who are they right there? In the outfit of the day, of course, <clears throat> is my favorite look. You will see coming up details on the way make sure you like comment and subscribe to your girl all bold fashion bold lifestyle bold living okay we only get this time once and we're gonna do it in the boldest way possible <laughs> for all of my new visitors here wearing to tear is one item three ways we get you right so today we are working with these leggings that i got from duck confetti black owned period we're heavy on the black brains over here okay just to let y'all know we'll be on <laughs> so definitely check him out very fun pieces as you see these leggings i wanted something colorful i wanted something bold to add to my wardrobe i got these um when i was going on my houston trip so good quality like the stretch is amazing everything is just it does what it needs to do you know how the girls like our leggings period yes so with that being said let's get into these the legging history okay so you know we don't give no looks without the history facts to go with it with the wear and tease tear segment they were first introduced in the 14th century so yeah leggings been around for a very long time leggings were predominantly worn by males the first use of leggings in the women fashion were for the dancers so under the leotards as you they're more sheer the sheer leggings as we all know growing up going to church got to put on the leggings the sheer tights or what have you not the first form of leggings worn by women in the 1960s a chemist named joseph silvers created leggings with the spandex fabric so the more thicker stretchier fabric from the starting out with the sheer type leggings, now we're going into spandex leggings in the 1960s. So spandex is made out of the lycrum fabric. That is what he invented. That, and now today, the Kayla Simone is gonna give you them three ways, okay? Quit playing with your girl and let's get into these looks. All right, first look, edgy, my edgy girls. I'm not afraid to push the envelope. This is you girl, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why. So it came with a matching sheer top and yes, sheer ladies. So the girls are going to be out, but the edgy girls, they don't care. They, in the sake of fashion, they going to do the damn thing. And this is kind of what this outfit is all about. So, like I said, sheer matching top to go with it. Then these Zara boots, I know y'all seen these Zara boots on TikTok. I know you've seen them. They were popping all over TikTok. All the girls were going, giving us their feedback, and I got caught in the mix. They sucked me right on in, and I go, went on and purchased them. Now, these were seven and a half. I really wasn't going to purchase them, okay? So, a little story time. I wasn't going to purchase them because they were out. I'm originally at eight in shoes. So, my the way I shop is, if my size is out, it wasn't for me. God just said... Hold on tight to your coins, okay? So I thought, you know, it wasn't it wasn't meant to be. But then I looked at this seven and a half, and I was just like, you know what? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it's going back. So I ended up ordering the seven and a half in these boots, and they worked out perfect. So Zara shoes, you get a little lead room depending on your feet. My feet, I can I can move a little bit. I can do a seven and a half. I can do an eight, and we all good. So definitely love these boots love this teal color this is such a winter popping color with a ton of the shiny finish to it real trendy real cute and comfortable them shoes real comfortable the heel is not too high at all so paired it with that and i got this bag from amazon very cheap dupe you know just something to go with the colors give you that purple vibe all throughout but in a different shade and then some classic beauty supply store hoops and i was out the door i actually wore this to a club in houston so this is like more of like your clubby vibe concert look you want to you want to be comfortable but you still want to be cute this is you girl hmm try a set 
a bomb set next time you want to step. Our next look is chill. So for my chill girls that barely like wearing heels, sneaker girl at heart, this is for you, okay? So Jordan 11s, if you know, you know, love these shoes. So comfortable with the gray, the neutral color. Oh, I can pair with anything. Any colors, it's gonna pop as shown. <laughs> Paired it with this Carnegie from Hanifa, black owned brand. If you don't know about Hanifa, you need to get on for real. I got this Carnegie a while ago, but it's still in good condition. I still like to wear it. Um, I paired it with this graphic tee from Urban Outfitters and then put the leggings on and then this hat from Von Dutch. And I just wanted to be as colorful and vibrant as possible. So I really picked on the tones. The hat matches the tones and the tee and then the cardigan and then the um, leggings pair up. So I just wanted to really play on my colors and have fun with it. You know, chill looks are to have fun and comfortable. And that's, that's the vibes I'm setting with this look. And then last but not least, look three. Look three. So look three is so different for me. Like y'all, I was a little nervous. I'm not even gonna lie to put this on because I'm just like, girl, you don't wear stuff like this. Like, but then I had to remind myself, bow girls, we don't, we're okay with being different. We're okay with not putting on what the typical person would think. And so I just went with it and I actually ended up like loving it, okay? So I got this barrette from Target from the Sergio Hudson collection. I love it, such a quality. Barrettes are definitely one of my favorite headwear pieces to wear in the winter because it gives you that chic vibe. I got these earrings from Choked, another black owned brand that I definitely would vouch for. Blazer, again, ooh, we all black brands. Quit playing with your girl with this one. Okay, so Blazer is from BBX, which is a European black owned women brand love them love this blazer if you want something a little bit more different than a regular blazer she definitely has the details to set this blazer apart in your wardrobe okay great quality did i mention that okay make sure i said that because i'm not putting y'all on nothing cheap or nothing that ain't gonna last you okay period and then i paired it with these denim steve matt shoes and then this ring as well as from choked actually my favorite one actually just look at it it's so beautiful so yes, that is the vibe. So now you get my looks, you get my looks, like you know the drill, comment below. Which one is your favorite look? Which one could you see yourself rocking? Which one you just like, girl, you cut up, okay? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another Where Into You Tear. I don't know why I think I can sing. Where Into You Tear, you know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Yeah, good girl, but she bad, so I'm confused.